Hello, my name is Grace, and I'm a final year student at UQ majoring in journalism. Hi, my name is Natalie Peluso, and I have just completed my third year of a Bachelor of Psychological Science here at UQ. Okay, so if you need to earn money while you're studying, and a lot of us do, um, that's something that you, you can't not do and you're here to study. So there's a, there's a balance that you need to achieve, right? And the first thing I think is to try and work with the timetable preferencing. So when you get an opportunity to uh, request um, a particular tutorial or a particular lecture time, sometimes you get a choice of lecture time, but frequently not, it's just the tutorials. Try and schedule those clearly away from your opportunities to work. So if you're working in the evenings, have them during the day and vice versa. That's step one, so they won't clash. Step two is do that, do that schedule for yourself, do that calendar, because you're gonna have less time to prepare for the things that you need to do at UQ, and you're gonna be pretty tired as well, having worked. So uh, I know people in my psychology degree who are working full time while also studying at UQ, doing like three units at UQ. Um, I have four children and I was doing the same thing and, and a, a research job. So um, I understand that it's hard. Uh, I guess the most important thing is to stay on top of your weekly, like your weekly staying on top of things is really important. So never let a week go by without watching a lecture. Never miss a tutorial, never miss a tutorial if you can. Uh, for work, don't, because those tutorials will help you stay on top of the content. Um, and then you're just going to have to schedule your time as best you can. And it's harder when you're younger because you've got a lot of social um, uh, temptations as well. You want to try and make friends at uni. For me, that's less of an issue. I know for, for um, people who are working full time, they don't have that social life opportunity. But I would say, look, try and balance everything. Don't be persuaded to kind of hang out with your friends when you should be studying. Um, really make a plan every semester so that you know when you're making the most of the time you do have um, and really look after your health and well-being eat well try not to drink too much um, stay hydrated because if you're getting good sleep that capacity to combine work and study is so much greater you really really have so much more energy and resilience that's my best advice so um if you're so um if you need a paid employment but you can't do it like with the same time with your studies, then I feel like it's important for your time management because mm -hmm. if you can balance the two, then that's awesome. So you've got money and you've got like your study at the same time. But mm -hmm. I've heard of like a lot of stories like you. Mm -hmm. um, some, some of the students, they're working full time and I know that they can do even better on their studies, but they're just getting a four yeah. or something, just like a very bare pass. So, wow. um, if you're doing like this, so why do you have to work? Because um, I would say it's like a personal choice, but um, at UQ, they do have some of the um, financial, su financial support if you really need money, but you can't do it the same time with your studies, then you can just try to ap approach UQ or the UQ Union. They do have some financial support that um, provides you the money that you need and also you can do um, the, your study at the same time so maybe that's like a better maybe that's a better idea yeah especially if you're I guess if your studies are suffering um, that's a fantastic option as well and of course I'm um, if you're an international student I don't know what the rules are for, for international students or for those who can't access financial support elsewhere um, Maybe if your grades really are suffering because of work, then perhaps cut down some of the shifts or try and budget your money in a way that makes sense to, uh, to allow you to give more time to your study and improve your grades if your grades are suffering. But I think the student union is a really good idea. It's a good suggestion.